Could T-Rex kill a modern day elephant? Now, it's an interesting concept and when I first started thinking about the concept of this video here, I actually wanted to center it around large theropods in general versus modern day elephants. But for simplicity purposes, I decided to use T-Rex. Now, if we look at something like an African bush elephant, they're estimated to be around 5.2 to almost around seven tons. Now, we know that a majority of T-Rexes would have been seven to eight tons. And obviously we've now seen that T-Rex probably could weigh 10 tons and maybe even a little bit more than that. So with the exception also that one African bush elephant species was found weighing in at 10.6 tons. So we know that that could also have upper size ranges as well. But if we assume maybe seven tons for the elephant and maybe 8.5 to nine tons for the T-Rex, looks like T-Rex would have had a little bit of an advantage as far as weight goes. Now the height, T-Rex was around 13 feet tall at the hip. An elephant maybe would have been around 10 feet tall, so T-Rex has the height advantage. I think that that's gonna be of importance. I'll explain a little bit later in this video, but I believe it's that height advantage that's gonna be very crucial into to determining who would win this Titanic battle. Now, it's important to realize that in life, T-Rex might have faced off against Triceratops, and they had similar horns to modern day elephants, the tusks that elephants had. So in that capacity, they both had the ability to potentially gore a T-Rex if it was coming at it. The difference is these Ceratopsians had frills atop of their head, which might have made biting down on the neck, not necessarily impossible, but a little bit more difficult. And I think that's one of the big key components is that in modern day elephant, like an African bush elephant, even though it is a force of nature in its own right, and don't fool yourself, if you've ever seen elephants, they are incredibly strong and they can push trees over, they can push things over. They are a force of nature, but they do not have any protection atop their head and the back of their neck lies open. So if a T-Rex was facing off against a modern day elephant, it would have to stay away from the tusks. I think that would be first and foremost the main thing that it would have to keep away from. In reality, if let's say T-Rex is going after a sauropod back in the Cretaceous days, sauropods had more whip-like tails. I believe the tail may have actually been something that could have been a weapon when swung. Elephants have kind of a puny, kind of a little whip-like tail. I don't think a tail, a whip from that would have been anything. So that's not anything that could have added to the battle. So literally an elephant has its size, its limbs, and those tusks coming out. T-Rex would have wanted to stay away from those. And if it could, my thoughts, again, this is hypothetical, but my thoughts would be that the T-Rex would be able to come down from top because it's taller, deliver that devastating blow to the back of the head, and just, we know about the bite of T-Rex, possibly the most powerful bite of all the predatory dinosaurs, inflicting massive damage, puncturing skin, puncturing through bone, and probably ripping a huge chunk out of the back of the head of an elephant. I can only imagine such a scene going down, possibly tearing off 500 pounds and just leaving the elephant incapacitated. So those are my thoughts on that. T-Rex versus a modern day bush elephant. They're both giant animals. When you really think about it, it's almost fair to say that they're about the same size as far as weight. I know that weights fluctuate. T-Rex would have fluctuated. Bush elephants would fluctuate as well. But they're both enormous animals, seven, eight, maybe 10 tons. They're both enormous animals. But at the end of the day, I don't think you could rule out T-Rex not winning this battle. It's got those immense jaws, over five feet long, huge teeth ripping into the back of the head of the elephant and just tearing a giant chunk of flesh away. I just don't think an elephant could withstand that. But, you know, also keep in mind that most hunts fail. So who's to say that a T-Rex wouldn't go after an elephant and be unsuccessful many times. That's obviously what we saw on Prehistoric Planet. And as we know, most predator hunts aren't successful. They have to keep going, keep being persistent, and eventually they'll get their kill. But there's no doubt that even a T-Rex going up against an elephant could have faced the possibility of sustaining injuries. So it would have had to been weary, and it would have had to really have a healthy respect for that elephant. But I have to give the nod to T-Rex in this over the African bush elephant. Love to hear your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next video. Take care.